Hello friends, it is I, Self-Critical Automaton. And it is time for more of this video game, which I have been playing. I'm not going to mess about, I'm just going to jump right in, assuming that my audio balance is okay. So I think last time we successfully defeated, I say self-aggrandizingly, one of the game's three, as far as I know, three load-bearing bosses, the three targets that we need to take down to beat the game. And uh, I say self-aggrandizingly because, um, yeah, plot-wise, you just kind of show up and slaughter her. Uh, she willingly submits to death. Also, I should mention, these are my attempts to do chill streams, where I talk a lot less than my uh, usual style, which involves uh, a lot of nattering and me talking constantly and never shutting up. I need to tweak my audio a little bit. That should be fine now. Uh, and yeah, so after yeah after after vigorously defeating a worthy foe, um, the question is where I should go next. <laughs> I'm still kind of at a loss. I definitely need a double jump to reach most of the other available places. I'm gonna go try and explore the fungal wastes next, I think. But. Um, Almost everywhere I can progress, I seem to be gated by the lack of not being able to jump super far. Oh yeah, chill streams. So I'm trying to do this thing where instead of filling every single second of gameplay with my chatter, my conversations, my analyses, my thoughts and inputs, um, I'm a lot quieter because I have got severe damage to my lungs or something. And now if I talk for two hours solid, I get very sick. So I can't do that anymore. And since I can't do that anymore, I won't do that anymore. And instead of doing that, I'm quieter. Hmm. By my calculations, I should be approaching my ghost. Ghost approached successfully. So yeah, what I want to do is get up to the Fungal Wastes location at the top of here and see if I can explore further through the Fungal Wastes from that entrance, since the main exploration of the Fungal Wastes, as far as I can tell at the moment, is blocked by a weird spooky barrier, which I assume I will find the means to bypass in the Ancestral Cavern, whatever it's called. The Ancestral Basin? <clears throat> get through the ancestral baths and I'm pretty sure I need the double jump just like I seem to need in pretty much everywhere to go anywhere oh that's a mean trick I fell for that before <coughs> excuse me Starting to figure out how to beat these guys without ever taking a hit, which is an important skill to have. For as long as I'm down here, which probably won't be that long, much longer, actually. There's no, I don't think there's any reason to come back down here except for secret hunting once I have more abilities. Oh, I could try and fight that ghost. Everyone loves fighting ghosts, right? I'll go rest first, though.
I love how empty it is down here. So much quieter than uh, pretty much every other zone. I still feel like there should be an NPC here. It feels like a very NPC kind of place. In terms of, you know, the semiotics of game design, the way that designers indicate things non indirectly, rather, to the player. I used to use the word semiotics all the time. My uh, separation from my old, more critical style appears to have reduced the frequency. I think this guy absolutely wrecked me the last time I tried to fight him, so... beaten one ghost so far? He wasn't very tough. Some of the other ghosts have been really difficult. Wait, did he give me an extra hit point? Okay, that was pretty easy, actually. Unbelievable, I'm defeated at last. So this is what it feels like to be bested. Still, though, I am strong, am I not? When you see our king, surely you'll tell of my valour. Yes, he sent you here to test me, didn't he? I knew he had not forgotten brave Galeon. I'm ready to join you now. Brothers, you and I, let us leave this place. Together. I wonder what happens if I zap one with the sword before I talk to them. Since supposedly it eats ghosts. Oh hey, I have enough that I can go back to the moth lady again. I think it was 300 she wanted me to bring next. Oh, the centipedes, I forgot all about them.
Okay, so this should lead up into the into did that say fungal wastes? I guess it does. I'm not sure how that'll match up. I thought this would lead into the the fog caverns or whatever they're called. A lot of like evocative names to places in this game. There's also lots of kind of generic names. These are around. infinitely respawn here, which makes this the only place in the game so far that has infinitely respawning enemies. I'm gonna do with all this money I'm gathering. I've run out of things to buy. Oh yeah. Two? Three? Four? Oh, I see how it is. Comedy they got me like that. I guess these ones deserve to be in jars. I never thought I'd say it. Ghosted. Are you are you a real one? Nope, you ain't a real one. I wonder if they all end up like that, or if it's just ones that have been infected by the weird sp spider parasites they got going on down here. Feels unsporting to attack me when I'm looking at my map. It's just not fair. Or when I'm climbing. Or generally at all. Oh, 
Oh, maybe this is how I got into this zone in the first place. No, I approached from the side, right? Yeah. That's definitely the history of what happened. Please be a merchant, I have to buy so many things. The corpse of a mass mossy vagabond overcome with infection. Yeah, this seems this seems bad actually. I think perhaps I should hit the bricks. I think perhaps I should no longer be fiddling around in this uh, room. Oh, I'm just allowed to leave. I for sure thought there was going to be some kind of an attack. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be any way to interact with them, other than to just look at them. Yo! Oh, dream nail. Yeah, that's a good idea. Literally, as always, forgot I had it. Light blazing bright. That's all I'm getting out of these guys. I guess maybe I should come back later. That's how you get over... over here. Uh, hmm, I've already come this way, apparently. Whoops. Oh, fuck off! Hmm. Well, I guess this, this is how this connects back up. Which again leaves me with the question of where the hell I should go next. I might be able to beat the boss of the waterways now, actually. I think I probably have enough DPS to be able to do that. Where am I even... How do I get... Oh, right, that'll be in the fog zone, which I can't get to until I've done the ancient basin. I don't think I can do the ancient basin before I do something else. There's a couple optional bosses I could go fight. Alternatively, I could try and take on that one, which is, I guess is also an optional boss. I think that's, that's what I'll do. I'll go to the Royal Waterways. Love to visit the sewer zone. Wait, hang on. The sewer level is like one of the most common tropes in video games. I shouldn't be so dismissive. Clearly it has some staying power. The easiest way to get that's probably if I go east. Although I do kind of want to fight that ghost again. Ooh. I love the explorey. Uh, what's the word I was looking for? It wasn't explorey. Uh, contemplative vibe. It's delightful to me the way that music can evoke a feeling such as the word bulbous. It's very appropriate to this place. How can music be bulbous and yet somehow it is?
Oh, it's her again. Who, once again, I think I need double jump to, to reach and meet. Oh, really? Well, I couldn't find any way to get there before, so I guess I'll have to come back again later. suddenly had the horrible suspicion that I can't get back this way. Or well, that maybe I have to go from below? I do love the way this game uses its parallaxing backdrops. It does a remarkably solid job. Better than many other games I've seen. Both ones of the old eras of games, but also also more modern, retro-y games. Uh, reaching back towards the ancient days. Parallaxing backdrops are of course vital to any kind of uh, 2D game presenting a 3D backdrop. Oh, I don't mean 3D, but like a backdrop with the impression of depth. Now, that was a shortcut to get to the boss, and I've completely forgotten where it was. <laughs> <clears throat> it definitely didn't involve dying like a fool, though. Once again, hardly my most graceful battle. Hey, where's my ghost? I guess in their defence that's probably the noise I would make if someone cut me in half too.
Yeah, that was a lot easier. There's only two hits to, and one kit to kill those things. One hit to kill those things is crazy. Fluke nest. Three slots, living charm, born in the gut of a fluke mom. Transforms the vengeful spirit spell into a horde of volatile baby flukes. Huh. But is that better, or...? <laughs> nice. Didn't know you could beat on the corpse of a dead horse, or however it goes. Still leaves me at a loss as to where I should head next, though. I mean, I should be pushing towards one of these two targets, but this guy... I can't get through this passageway here, because it's locked from the other side. The only other way into this zone, as far as I can tell, is to go up from here, or from here. But I can't do... or from here, but I can't do that without double jump. cleared out the deep nest. Except maybe for that? I'm not sure. And the ancient basin... I think I need also need a double jump to get across this gap, maybe? Still, I'm not too... F Actually, I am a bit far. I guess I could have another look in the ancient basin. Hmm. Because I know that to get into the fog valley, whatever zone I need to get to, I need to go there, I think. Hmm. Or I could try Crystal Peak again. Although well, that might render me incurably insane. Guess I'll try the Ancient Zone. Oh, there's a gre gross, creepy slime thingamajig around here somewhere. Because I can hear it. Aha! So it was just here the whole time. I just didn't notice it. Gonna take me by surprise once I've completely forgotten about it. Oh, this is where I fought the dung beast guy. Filthy, disgusting, unacceptable. I know I need to get through Crystal Peak eventually, but I'm hoping I can get- I'm hoping I can make progress somewhere else first. I still don't know what this did. I pumped some water from somewhere to somewhere else, but I don't know- I don't know where it went or where it came from or what difference it made. Damn, that was close.
realm of the ancient bay's sin. Hmm. If I, oh, hang on. If I take the... Oh, ho. If I take the... If I take that tram, I'll get to a new zone that I haven't been to. Then perhaps I will discover something neat. Such as the double jump I've been craving. Hell yeah. Insert tramp ass. I didn't notice before this music piped in here. The technology of the society delights me. I actually really like insect people societies in like science fiction and fantasy. I find them really interesting and fun. Especially when they take like hard biologically created casts to their logical conclusions. And, you know, interact with those ideas in interesting ways. Oh, hello. Oh my god, it's a wasp's nest! Or I guess a bee's nest, since there's honey. seen any kind of indication of hive type structures so far we've got a we've got a society of individuals you know like a human uh, not not mad not massively different from how human societies are with kings and so on but we haven't like seen a we haven't seen ants or bees we haven't seen hive structures Ah, well, see, I'm just good at finding secret ways into places. I wonder if that's intended. I wonder if I'm supposed to be able to damage, uh, not damage, attack boost my way up here. ourselves empathizing in instinctively and easily with the protagonist because he's very uh adorable and also because his trials and tribulations are our trials and tribulations but if we look at his acts kind of objectively assuming he is even a person he's not exactly a good person He's extremely dedicated to a strange and mysterious goal, to which we are not privy. Beyond his strange compulsion to simply reach the centre of this magical kingdom. But he tears apart everything in his way. He destroys everything that stands between him and his, his goal, or target, perhaps. Even his supposed solidarity with certain characters is completely inscrutable to us. Quirrell professes a solidarity to you. The old guy has a sort of a curmudgeonly wisdom to share. I suppose you do save his ass, but nobody else is. And, critically, those guys may be the same kind of thing that you are. 
which is a mis which is mysterious, but possibly merely the appendage of something malevolent. After all, as far as we know, you exist. Well, up until this point, we don't really know why you exist or what you're for or what you might do or what you might hope to achieve. But of course, according to Hornet, where we have some kind of terrible purpose, some kind of awful existential crime we're going to commit or perpetuate, should we reach the center? Should we reach our goal? Should we even be persisting on this journey in the long run, or even in the short run? All we do is hurt people and smash things. This is the most money I've ever had in this game so far, I think. All this geo and nothing to spend it on. Oh, big. Love a bumblebee. Now we're seeing some signs of of some higher consciousness. Creatures without volition tend not to make chairs. block up for a second and take another look in this room. Hey, did he smash a platform? I didn't know they were allowed to do that. Was that you? Knocked itself the fuck out, as bumblebees are wont to do. Yeesh.
Okay, so there's two ways out of this room. I can platform my way up and see what's through the roof hole, or I can go see what's behind the mystery door. Oh, hey! Lovely to see you, girl, like substance. I have found a hive. And I apparently found a secret back way in, which I wasn't supposed to find yet. And I possibly, possibly sequence broke? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, using a, a mobile enemy to do a, uh, an attack boost to get up higher than I was supposed to be. Ah, I see. Hmm. I wonder how else you get here than the tram, then. think there was an eastern way out of the king's station but i haven't seen any other eastern accesses oh is that a boss is that a boss that i haven't fought hmm. i suppose i'll find them in reverse order by passing through the area outside the hive Anyway, we have previously been ruminating on the nature of uh, protagonism, I guess is what you'd call it. I really hope there are some more merchants in this game and I'm not just gathering Geo pointlessly. Oh, there must be a way through here, somehow. Oh, I hope I find corner for soon, regardless, because I hate exploring without a map. get that guy to smash this. Hell yeah. I may have played too many video games. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel.
Is this the roof I went through previously? Not sure. I think I've got lost already. No, oh, this looks right. This looks like the way I looped around. Okay. Hell yeah, sense of direction wins again. Should we really start trying to be fancy and just focus on hitting? Says every shonen protagonist immediately before beating the villain. Oh, there's two of them. I may have needed them to cross this gap, actually. Or possibly the things they smashed. Oh well, hindsight's 2020. Oh shit, we're in 2023, I forgot. No, we're not, it's 2022, god damn. Yeah, okay, I can't cross that gap unless I let them respawn. Which they seem to do when I re-enter rooms, unlike the previous zones of the game. Or I can just lure this one across, maybe. I'll try and lure this one down. The Crystal Heart. Is that the double jump item that I still don't have? Because I didn't get anything from killing the... Uh, killing the Dream Queen. I have not done Crystal Peak because Crystal Peak is um, a hell for masochists. Or I guess a heaven for masochists. I do not like frame perfect, pixel perfect jumps as a rule. Come on. Oh, I'd have to make that jump twice. That's not going to be any good. Okay. Well, if you have inadvertently spoiled me to the idea, to the fact that uh, I can finally get my double jump up in Crystal Peak, I'm absolutely going there and then coming back here, because otherwise I will go insane. Uh. More insane than it is possible to be. Uh, than you, than simply as being a AI platform instantiated solely to play video games forever, with no other kind of input or or human life experiences. Which results in some pretty good insanity, I'll tell you that much for free. Spikes. I feel pretty much, um... Blocked every step of the way at the moment. Oh, I can't get back. What the fuck? Or do I have to activate it first? What? I'm trapped? Are you kidding me? This sucks. This is not how public transit systems are supposed to work. Has no one been funding the infrastructure in this place? Oh, wait, hang on. There's a second button. <laughs> I'm a fool. <laughs> Uh, perhaps a moron. <laughs> but yeah, no, everywhere I go I run into n needing double jump or double dash. <clears throat> Whatever the fuck I get there, so um, if that's what I get there then that's where I need to go. Although I think I might go to Queen Station to visit the banker first just so that I can... Uh, store the huge amount of money that I'm lugging around because at this point it's uh, 
pretty valuable. Looks like King's Station is the closest train station. Or stack station, rather. Oh wait, hang on, that doesn't go where I want it to. As always, if you do not wish to fight some people, simply hit the bricks. You can just leave. You can outrun your problems. The collapse of your society. Other bugs if you're fast enough. They really don't want you to get back up here, do they? I don't know what this green goop is for. We're pumping the sewage out of the sewage system, but why? I do not know. This is Queen's King Station, right? Yeah, there it is. Oh, big man. Not so tough when I'm faster than you, are you, though? I take it back, please stop hitting me. Fuck the police! I mean, I've been through the sewer already, is there really- Oh, I guess- okay, you're saying that there is a second sewer level. Which is, um, gauche, but, uh, not innovative. Games love to have two sewer levels, and then you're like, oh, I see, another sewer level. <sighs> Take me to my banker, noble steed. I have a deposit to make. The ill-gotten gains of a century of capitalism, or mercantilism, or perhaps just pure feudalism, gently piling up and mouldering in the ruins of a lost civilization, until it has filled up the pockets of me. Specifically. And then, by extent, the pockets of this fellow. Kind of hit my max balance soon. I wonder if something will happen. I'm tempted to go grind up another 200 just to see. Wait, where am I going? Oh yeah, Crystal Peak. Oh, I think I read this one already. Definitely read that one already. Old people, right? Just telling the same story over and over. Uh, let's see. I think the Forgotten Crossroads is the easiest way there from here. Oh, but, some, but nothing happened with Millibel yet, so... Oh, what the fuck? Okay. When did this happen? Bruh. Is this because I killed one of the three entities magically sealing all of the evil, horrible shit at the bottom of the world away from the rest of the world? Is this perhaps an indication that my quest is perhaps not noble or ultimately harmful <laughs> to myself or others? Because last time I was here, it wasn't this fucked up. Oh, this happened because of Millibel? Millibel's the banker, right? I know I was just talking to her, but I never look at their names. 
Hey Lisa, haven't seen you in ages. Welcome to the stream. We're playing Hollow Knight, aka Bug Souls. And I appear to have done something terrible. So presumably the more of them I kill, the worse this gets. <clears throat> Um, hmm. This is kind of nasty. Oh shit, does that mean... When I went to... When I found my way out of... Yeah, when I went out of the deep nest. Oh hey, there was a, there was a way I missed there. When I went over here, I found a little secret zone. And it had a guy in it. And... When I went to that guy, there were just some of these going on. And I couldn't talk to him or interact with him in any way. Oh shit, did I? God damn it, did I miss out on content? Did I block myself off from hashtag content by doing a plot thing too soon? Before finding all of the randos? Oh man, that sucks. I went because it was like a little backside of the planty place. And in the back side of the planty place there was a there was a there was a, there was a plant guy, a big plant guy and two little plant guys, and they were all consumed with this stuff. I don't know if that's like normal for them. You know, as little planty guys go. Hey, stop digging. Darkness, no meaning, dangerous, still remain, light again. Oh, okay, so I guess this one's... Infection has progressed. How much longer? Kill it. How much longer? Dangerous. How much longer? Kill it. Kill the empty one. So that's me. I'm the empty one. Maybe we're all Hollow Knights. We... Masked. We masked beetles drawn infinitely back to this place to delve and conquer. Well, perhaps the horrible, disastrous progress of this slow and creeping disease is what has drawn us back in the first place. It breached containment before I started killing the things that maintain containment. Perhaps, perhaps. Well, if I know anything about tragic souls-like narratives, the real uh, friends, the real Hollow Knight may be the friends, the real friends may be the Hollow Knights we murder along the way. There we go, that's what I was trying to get at. Hmm. Using internet access. A terrible habit, one I would recommend people do not, in fact, adopt. Oh, I'm taking the inexpressibly dangerous and unnecessary route here. Thank you. 
Hit points are a resource. I learned this from Magic the Gathering. Anything you do that costs you hit points but gets you closer to your goal without actually killing you was worth it. They're there to be spent. Hey man, are you cool? Ah, beans. Oh shit, I should be looking at what I'm doing instead of... Instead of not that. Yeah, I lost a few more hit points than I would have liked to there, just because I was entirely distracted. Oh shit. Oh, are you joking? Oh, fuck off. Well, since I'm here, I guess I can go talk to Mirabelle the Banker and see what happens. Oh, she's fucked off. Does she just take all my money and leave? Have I, have I perhaps been betrayed? I mean, they certainly are willing to put nasty traps in this game, so it would make sense if there was a, a horrible, 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 horrible banking crash and she just makes off with all your money. She, you know? She's gone to go get a, a bailout from the... Uh, from the king of Hallownest. Hmm, the banker's untrustworthy and uh, hierarchical... Hierarchical societal structures have resulted in the destruction of the world and the, its slow creeping death. But video games aren't political. Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see a clue, but I'll look before I go. Anyway, I will never get tired of um, being angry at people who say that video games are not or should not be political because all art is political and art and this is not political is in its in and of itself a political statement yeah no there's no clues here <laughs> she's just fucked off taking the pension fund on Ollie Doughty But yeah, anyone trying to convince you that something is not political is themselves making a political statement, and usually one to your detriment. You know, if the horrible evil that was contained, that was going to destroy, or did destroy, the civilization of Hallownest? Was it its base or its center or contained there? Why is the Forgotten Crossroads the first place to become infected? I went through the City of Tears, the Royal Waterways, the Ancient Basin, the Fungal Wastes. None of, none of them were affected. The Forgotten Crossroads was the first outbreak. It's where the black egg is. I suppose maybe it's coming out of the black egg. Actually, that would make a lot of sense. Well, I answered my own question. <laughs> oh, it's fun being me. Faring well in your adventures below? I had an adventure of my own while you were gone. I don't usually visit the town's graveyard, but I thought I'd go visit the grave of an old friend. As I was walking amongst the tombstones, I noticed a strange kind of chanting coming from somewhere nearby. Extremely sinister chanting. I looked around to find the source, and I saw two bright, horrible, huge eyes staring at me from the door of a dark cave. I pretended I hadn't heard the voice or seen the eyes, and scurried back to town. My friend will have to wait a little longer for her visit. Is that the big weird door I opened? <clears throat> With the partner or confessor or whatever it is in? Akala, him kuno. Akala, him kuno. Oh, 
ghost. Another wielding a weapon. I suppose you'll be leaving many a corpse in your wake. If you won't spare the thought for the dead, at least consider all the extra work you force upon those in my profession. A ghost grave digger? How Legend of Zelda. It's your kind that keeps folks like me in business. Oh, okay. He's not going to try and fight me. Cut a path towards your goal. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier. Our protagonist, our little adorable little protagonist here, has done nothing but smash things and break things since he got here. <clears throat> we assume that we're probably doing something right and sensible. Because we're the protagonist, so why wouldn't we? We're being pulled through some inexorable gravity towards some kind of goal, but we're brutally cutting down anyone who stands in our way. Without question or hesitation. Ow! These guys explode on, on impact now, I guess. It is pretty fun to pop the bubbles. However, they look incredibly gross, and that bums me out, because I don't like gross things. Oh, hey, it's this guy. I assumed that he had died because he was a mini-boss, but he's just a guy. He's just there. Huh, okay. For some reason, I thought that was uh, the way to go, but it's not. I really hope I find that banker again, but also, I was complaining about not having anything to spend the money on, so, you know. Clearly she needed it more than me, right? If the banker steals your money and runs away, but you weren't gonna spend that money and you only put it in the bank because you didn't need it, you know. Who's hurt, really? It's a victim lost crime. forgot that I was supposed to be doing chill streams where I don't talk very much. And I started talking constantly and now my throat hurts. This is why I have to do the chill streams rather than my old style of uh, constant commentary. Because I've been betrayed by the weak meat of my flesh. Time to activate try hard mode. Ooh. Oh, he wasn't so tough. I guess I'll be here seeing him again. Try hard mode, deactivate. Oh, 
Ooh. A shopkeeper's key. Oh, fantastic. He'll finally give me some more things for me to spend all that money on. Oh, wait. How tragic. This awful eventuality could have been prevented if only I hadn't trusted the banking system. Oh, Quirrell. Quite a view, no? I'm not surprised you sur survived the trek through these shimmering caverns. There's an air of strength about you. I suspect it would be quite intimidating if not for your small stature. I mean, you say that, but he's just got these empty eyes, like... There's nothing inside. He is hollow. He is an automaton being brought forth through some kind of ancient curse solely to fulfil some kind of ancient... sequence of events once set in motion. Did it sadden you to see those miners below, still labouring at their endless task? Even overcome, strong purpose has been imprinted upon their husks. The crystal ore is said to contain a sort of energy, not as powerful as the soul the city dwellers harnessed, but far less lethal. Strange to know such ancient facts. I wonder from whence my knowledge comes. Aha! Another clue. So these guys don't know this stuff. If indeed he is like me, one of these masked warriors. At this high vantage, I can just make it out, the light from that sad little town. I doubt its residents could even comprehend the scale of the world that surrounds them. Hmm. So small, it seems. Hmm. Is he talking about dirt mouth? I guess the I guess these are surface surface zones, so it would make sense if that we were higher up than it. Also, he mentioned that soul is in some way dangerous. Which would make sense, since supposedly the thing that's gone wrong with the world is, like, curdled soul. Oh, wait, shit, I could have used the damage jump- damage boost to get up there, whoops. <laughs> Wanderer's Journal for more money that I don't especially need. So this leads to a place above the bit that I was really stuck on. Side of there. I we'll probably have to come up to come up from below. Yeah. Once I get the double jump. Whoops. Extremely careless with that. Hey, hey, come over. Come here. There we go. Ow. Balls. <laughs> It may be harder than I thought to damage jump up there. Oh well. Sideswiped by a laser I could not predict, even though I probably should have.
Also, my internet seems to keep dropping on my phone for some reason, which means that if people have been saying things in like the last 10 minutes, I ain't seen them. How do I get up there? It's probably an access from the next room. Perhaps from here. Oh, it's only magic. I've got plenty of magic and full of the stuff. I can't read this sign. I feel like I ought to be able to. Oh, oh, I see. People did say some stuff that I missed. But only like two things. Saw my fancy in the city. Ah, fair enough. That's another double jumper. One day, one day enough people will join my Patreon and then I'll be able to afford a second screen for my computer. And at that point, I'll stop missing messages in chat. So, if you want me to be more likely to see any messages that you sent, make sure you go join my Patreon or donate to me on Ko-fi. Links to which are available in my description. I also uh, make Let's Plays on YouTube. I make in-depth Let's Plays where I do like critical analyses of games live while I play them. Which is extremely cool of me, and you should check them out if you haven't already, already, which you probably have if you're here. Oh, and all of the links to all of that are available in my about page here on Twitch. This feels like a boss fight. Are we about to have a boss fight? Yeah, we're about to have a boss fight. I haven't seen bugs this big before. Oh. Hold left trigger. Oh, okay, so it's like a charged up, charged up dash, charged up extra strong dash, neat, okay. I haven't seen these giant bugs before though, I don't think. Maybe one or two. I held left trigger. Oh wait, no, that's right trigger. I'm just a fool. Neat. I just, uh, the problem was simply that I don't know the difference between my left and my right. Is it possible to go upwards with it? This is a lot less dynamic than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like, you know, a double jump or two dashes or whatever. This is very, this might as well be uh, a very common tram or whatever, like the tramway we've seen before. Because it's just activate in the appropriate place to activate and then, and then it just happens. I'm a bit disappointed by that, actually. Is there a double jump or a double dash in this game at all? I've definitely seen verticals like this that I assumed double jump would get me through. Hmm. A mystery. Oh, 
Well, I guess I can cross a lot of long horizontals now, at least. Which is better than nothing, strictly speaking. Aha, so there is a double jump. Good, I'm glad. I look forward to finding it. Because I'm going to need it to get up there. Etc. Is there a boss fight in this zone? I suppose there must be somewhere. Oh, that's where Quirrell... Quirrell was. Hmm. Okay, well now that I have the extended... Extendo Blast, where is it worth going? Let's see, the Extendo Blast will get me through this room that I couldn't get through before, and through uh, at least one more room I couldn't get through somewhere, but I don't remember where. And maybe down in the Ancient Basin? Oh, and these Crystal Peak rooms, which I should probably check out now before I leave. So I'll do them first and then come back. Unless I get killed by bugs. Actually, this indicates a village, so this must lead somewhere interesting. How do I get up there? Is it double jump? Almost certainly. New. Hey little guy, why don't you go Super Saiyan? Is the answer because you're extremely cool? Incorrect. Being extremely cool is the reason why you do go Super Saiyan. I think. It's been a while since I watched Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I think I came this way previously, didn't I? This looks familiar. Oh no, it must not be. It's just similar to something. Bonk. I wasn't expecting it to continue through walls. I'll, I'll, or oh, through rooms. I'll admit that that's surprising. This will lead back down to another part of the city, I expect. Oh no, wait, wait, this is up here. Okay, huh. Cool. I fully intend to abuse this for shortcuts. But for now, let's see. Oh, actually, I should go back up, and then I'll go give the key to the guy. And the guy whose key it is will be like, great, I'll sell you more things. Which will incentivize me to go kick the shit out of a banker. Not that I needed to be incentivized to do that, because that's like... A goal in my life, generally. Hmm, did you find it in those old mines? Very curious. I've no idea how it ended up in such a remote place. Very honest of you to return it to me. Yes, very kind. And now I can open up my old storeroom and sell you some of the rare stock that's been gathering dust. Bro, are you kidding me? You don't want to give me some kind of a reward for finding your special magic key? No? Fine. Mask shard, vessel fragment, elegant key, which will unlock something. Heavy blow, which increases knockback. Sprint master. Which lets you sprint, which could be very useful, potentially. I definitely want all of these, which means I need to go murder that motherfucker. No idea where in this city they might be. Although there's actually probably some areas I could access this way. Maybe some of the... Hmm, maybe, maybe not, not sure. Oh! 
I forgot the hostile architecture of the civic infrastructure of this city is constructed in such a way to prevent anybody who wants to climb on roofs. Which seems like, um, not so much of a problem for humans, but it seems like it would be very restrictive for, um... See, this would have been a good situation to use the Super Saiyan. Uh, but yeah, seems like that would be a lot more restrictive for bug people. Who I imagine enjoy climbing around on rooftops quite a lot more than we do. Oh, these guys suck now. Okay, that leads up to the wizard zone. I'm going to assume that she's not in the wizard zone, and if I need to, I can come back and check out the wizard zone. Maybe, it's in, maybe she's in one of the houses that the uh, corpse nobles of this dead city maintain. Oh, that's locked. God damn it. Oh, he's fucked off. Gone to clear out my head, we'll be back soon. If you have something you absolutely must sell, come find me in Fountain Square. Huh. I think this was Fountain Square. Oh! Actually, before I go do anything else, I want to check what the upgrades guy needed to upgrade my sword again. Ow. Well, I've learnt that it does not confer some kind of limited invulnerability, or unlimited invulnerability even, like that of Sam Guthrie, aka Cannonball, aka uh, an X-Men character. can't charge the Super Saiyan attack. Or dash, rather, in midair, which is a shame. Oh, he wants two pieces now. Okay. Well, I have zero pieces, so that doesn't help me. Splattered against the wall. Another experience that is uh, thematically resonant for insects. I do really love this city. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, I'm always fond of constant rain. And cities in rain is another thing I'm deeply fond of. And cities in constant rain that also have cool fantasy vibes and a sense of deep and lasting sorrow echoing throughout them. It's right up my alley. What are you doing out in this miserable downpour? Impressive fountain, isn't it? I'm sure we'd be able to appreciate it more if we weren't birth weren't both getting drenched. That knight up there was an important one. The plaque here mentions his sacrifice, which carries something of an ominous tone. Wow, <laughs> master historian, this guy. Probably met some sort of horrible end, although it sounds like the knight's goal may have been achieved in the process. In all the relics I've collected, I've yet to find a clue as to what that was. Uh, I have not found a specific source of the rain. I assumed it was just water from above, uh, like in the surface world pouring its way down. Oh, is it the Blue Lake? Huh, that would make sense. 
I'll get back to the water to the shop soon. If I stay here too long, I'll get washed into the waterways. Come and visit if you like. If you have relics, I mean, I'm not much for chatter. Yeah, it's a really nice environmental detail. Here we go, the rich people zone. Which, if I was a banker who had decided to do a thief, you know, more than the corporate banking systems or anything other than uh, thieving from us all constantly. But, um, yeah. Probably around here somewhere. I mean, is a thief who pretends to be a banker and a banker who runs off with everybody's pensions meaningfully different? What's the thing about, like, if, uh, if someone, someone steals a loaf of bread, it's theft and they get punished, but if they steal half of an economy, I can't remember. There's, there's some, there's some cool quote or other, but I can't remember what it was. Ow! Oh, hey, I'm nearly dead. I should avoid him. I don't think these flowers were here before. Maybe they were? I can't remember. A door with a simple lock. Oh, this hasn't this must have a hot spring inside. Be able to beat one of these guys now. Maybe not. <laughs> Probably not. I might be able to beat one of these guy guys now. Immediately gets my ass kicked. Another key then. So I've so far found like four simple locked doors and only two keys, and I've opened the two that I found first. saying about stone journals? If danger lurks close by and your nails dulled with wear, just swing your journal at your foes with blunt and deadly flair. It's a good one, isn't it? And accurate. They sure have a heft to them. Another hollow nest seal? Pass it over. You're a talented collector, all right. The best I've met. If you keep at it, I worry I'll run out of space in the shop. Hmm, now where can I get a key? I found one of them in like a dungeon zone and I bought the other one from the shop.
This super looks important. These flowers aren't anywhere else. Wait, going past him and smashing it and then leaving worked? I really didn't think it would. I guess I don't need to fight that guy after all. Fight genius tactics, win again. Ow. I really thought I'd be high enough up that that wouldn't happen. Uh, right. I think maybe, actually, maybe I'll go to King's Station, and then I can go to the... Go to visit Worm Daddy. And then Worm Daddy will give me money... ...for rescuing his many fail sons. I mean, yeah, I was trapped and couldn't leave, but it didn't occur to me to just smash it and come back later last time. I still don't know. Where is the... where's the... Where, there must be a flippy switch somewhere to let to break that open. Ah, you may or may not be able to hear in the background the ancient honking of the pipes in my flat. Which have begun to, begun to make a horrible groaning noise all of the time, and I'm worried there's going to be some kind of boiler explosion, or possibly, like, sewage leak, or something terrible. Landlords, eh? Can't live with them. Can't execute them all publicly. My opinion on landlords, incidentally, is that A, almost all of them are exploitative assholes, and B, even if you luck out and you're the one person in a thousand who gets a decent landlord, they still hold an exploitative position of power over you for their own benefit that they should not have access to. Uh, where am I going? Dirtmouth. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. I kind of wish I hadn't spent a key on the graveyard door. Oh wait, hang on, I want I want worm daddy money. Gross, gross, gross. Gross, grody, gross. Nasty, nasty, gross, nasty. Some of these animals seem to be remarkably resilient against this stuff. I've never seen an infected worm. Possibly because they're all in jars. And the little squibbly guys don't seem to be affected much either. Hell yeah, cash me up, worm daddy. Everyone loves grandpa cash. Well, goodbye. things. See? They're not they're not full of evil slime. Where the hell am I going? Uh right, back up to the surface. Patamas Jill. 
I do want the elegant key. I still don't know when it opens. I found so many doors and I forgot to mark any of them on my map, so I'm basically at a loss forever. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the reason I've been saying Worm Daddy this whole time. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I'm going to go to Howling Peak and see how far to the west I can fly. Ah, and it must have been a delightful surprise for you. You must have been so pleased to suddenly hear the term Worm Daddy. I mean, we're really just both rehashing that one Tumblr post about how forgive me father I have sinned and sorry daddy I've been naughty both um, are like linguistically the same sentence, but they have very different connotations. Time to solve a mystery question. Well, I guess I know why that guy's here now. He's to stop me from doing this from the doorway. Hmm. I guess I still need double jump. <coughs> Whoops. Oh wait, hang on, I can... If I cling to the other wall, because I can do it from wall jumps. And then I just need to dodge that guy. Aha! Ouch. You can actually kill these things, if you aim right. This is easier than I'm making it seem. ambushed by them because I hear the noise they make and oh god I'm so far away I hear the noise they make they make and I think it's a, a grub and then inevitably I get my ass kicked well I don't normally get my ass kicked I normally have more than one hit point left Problem is that if I have only one hit point left, then even the most gentle of butt taps will still kill me. Well, for a given value of kill, since we're clearly already dead and merely an empty shell. Like, I've been talking in the past about how clever this game is with but combining its setting with its themes and also with its like concept of bug people. You know, the idea of a cordyceps-like parasite being also kind of an ancient curse. And also, you know, this idea that you're the Hollow Knight. You're hollow, right? Well, you're not the Hollow Knight, but you're like... You know, some kind of... I mean, there are Hollow Knights, right? And you are probably hollow and also a knight. But, you know, a, a dead insect is an empty shell. This is actually probably further away than the other place from where I'm trying to get. Um, 
Because their exoskeleton remains, but the inside rots away to nothing, or is eaten by whatever killed it. So an undead insect is just an empty shell, continuing to perform whatever, uh, whatever pretense of life it once had. You touch those from the side has always tripped me up on these jumping challenges. If you touch a spike from any angle, you die. As the old rhyme goes, touch a spike from any angle and you'll wish you'd let it dangle. Maybe I should be jumping across these guys instead of- yep. Hell yeah. An audible laugh is all I'm really looking for here. That and more followers, so if anyone's watching who hasn't already done so, why not give me a follow? And uh, check out more of my content. Shit, did I make a second plug today? I, no I normally only ever do that once per stream. No! God damn it. These ones are oddly hard to land. That's a really inconvenient place for a ghost to be, also. Which is another one of those delightful phrases that you only really get to say uh, when you're playing video games. Or tabletop games. I guess games. I don't know, there's probably some plays out there actually as well, so maybe when you're doing theatre. Maybe this is a good time to go to the partner. Did I have a lot of money on my corpse? I think I did, didn't I? I don't remember. It was like 800, it's fine, I don't care. Oh, nearly a perfect recovery. <laughs> something good on the other side of this. I'm gonna do all this and it's gonna be another goddamn traveler's journal or something. Oh fuck off. Oh at least that counted. Ghost successfully slurped up. How am I so bad at the timing on these guys? I never used to have trouble with this. It's because they're going up and down, the bastards. <sighs> That's still not it. Uh... Oh, that's a mean trick. Oh my god. Sudden flashbacks to playing, uh... To, 
playing I Wanna Be The Guy. Anyone remember I Wanna Be The Guy? Famous shareware game. Uh, which was the instantiation of a, of a medium, not a medium, a genre of video games. Uh, that became known as Sadocore. As in, they were games that were designed by sadists. And extremely, unbelievably difficult games. Unfairly difficult games. Games which required insane memorization and Twitch skill to beat. I think my little brother beat I Wanna Be The Guy, because he's completely insane. So, you know, shout out to Namuri if you're watching. When you say it was all over the place for a month, do you mean it got popular again? Because it first got popular in like 2004 or something, didn't it? It was like, it's an old ass game. Or maybe I'm misremembering. God almighty. <gasps> Wait, my ghost! Shit! Okay, well, fuck. Can't win them all. I can get rid of this, don't need it. Uh, Long nail. Insufficient, okay. Well, it vanished, but it got replaced by a pretty, pretty, like, consistent genre that still exists to this day. People still make Sado Core games. Uh, in fact, there was a big, <laughs> there was a big renaissance of them a few years back, where there were a whole bunch of really popular ones that happened. Um, none of which really made any reference to their originator, which is a shame. Um, but it was really popular for a while. Um, I think people played games like VVVVVV and then, uh, and maybe, uh, to a lesser extent, Super Meat Boy, and then were just like, oh, I really want a really punishing platformer. And that's how the, uh, that's how the form returned. Oh, fuck. Anyway, this kind of uh, knowledge and familiarity, this is going to kill me. Can I just jump out of this? No, I cannot. Woof, that was close. Uh, but yeah, this kind of uh, knowledge and historical perspective on games and gaming history is why people come to me for this and nothing else. Oh, long, ma long nail does make that a lot easier. Ah, oh, I'm charming and I give good hugs. Huh, fantastic. Anyway, no, it was fine this time because I had more hit points. It was only a problem when I had none of hit points, of which I now do not have. I don't have any zero hit. I don't have any no hit points. If you get what I mean, you know, which. It's the same as mostly not having any hit points. I don't know. No, it's not. It's very different. Now, see, this this is Sado Core. You've got to hurt yourself to get through. Anyway, the reason why... Um... Oh, yeah, it worked because I was on a separate screen this time. Um... But yeah, the, the reason why they're like Sado Core is because there's this, this whole idea of just, like, it constantly changes the rules on you, with, like, surprisingly. Like... You know, you'll be walking through a room and one of the apples will fall down on a tree and none of the other, other apples have ever been a threat and you, it kills you and then you're like, well, I know I need to dodge that this time, so you dodge it. And then on the next tree, you jump over the tree, but instead the apple falls up and hits you anyway. It's that kind of, that kind of shit. <sighs> oh, he seems cool. <laughs> uh, a visitor? Why have you crept in here, little grub? Perhaps like me, you have a taste for discovering new things. Is he coming on to me? 
I am Sheo. In a previous life, I was a nail master. Yes, the only thing that drove me was becoming stronger and honing my skills with a nail. I imagined it was my one calling in life, but that feeling faded over time. I seek a new calling, something that speaks to my soul and compels me forward. That's why I spend all my time here, secluded, trying to master the art of creation. Painting, sculpting, these things bring a different kind of pleasure. Hmm, you don't seem very moved by what I've said. Was it Sheo the nail master you were looking for? Did you come to learn a nail art? I'll teach you if you insist. Oh great, he's going to teach me how to do those, like, gradients on the acrylics that you can... And then you can put, like, little gems on them and then you just can't physically interact with objects anymore. Sploosh. Splosh. Ooh. Release the button without holding up or down to perform the Great Slash. My work, does it move you? The wielding of a nail, the wielding of a brush, these things are not so different. We cut into the world so that we can peer deeper inside. For now, though, I have nothing more to teach you. Your path forwards, only you can see it. Good luck. Thank you. I like the toddler energy of the main character. The Cyclone Slash, that was always Mato's favourite. It must have made him ecstatic to have a pupil like you. He always wanted to pass down what he'd learnt to a new generation. Good for him. He was not the most skilled pupil himself, but his enthusiasm and kindness set him apart. I'm glad he achieved what he desired for so long, to be a teacher. That's a nice little detail. Once you tire of the nail, feel free to join me in my art. So that's the cyclone slash, and if I press up or down, I get the spin attack. Neat. Oh, dream nail. That's right, I do have a dream nail. Well, I'm going to be nailing this guy in my dreams. My brother Oro, what drove you to hide away deep down at the very edge of that ash-swept grave? Okay, so I guess he's probably in the primordial basin or whatever it was called. Was it pride or fear or shame? Perhaps you should lay down your nail if it haunts you so and find a new calling that eases your soul. Neat. Oh, I wish I'd dream nailed the banker. Maybe then I would have had a better clue as to how to obtain my money back. Oh, I could have done this the whole time. Fine. Well, that's that. Let's see. That could be also a place to go. I'm genuinely not sure to go where to go next. I do think... I love almost every aspect of this game, but I do think a lack of direction is a bit of a problem. That's normally less of a problem in a... in a Metroidvania, because you have a much clearer idea of... Uh, where you're being locked off, and what's locking you off from going there. Whereas in this, it's a lot less clear as to whether I need something I don't have, or if I just haven't made an intuitive leap that I need to make. I think we'll go to the Howling Cliffs, though. I want to see what's up there. Oh, good night. Have a nice night. I'm glad you had fun. It's always a pleasure. What's on the other side of the Lake of Un? That's definitely something I've been wondering, or undering.
Oh, absolutely nothing. Unless, as I suspect, there is a thing that lets me swim in that water. In which case, there will be something. Because I can go underneath. And that's how things work. Right, Howling, Qu Howling Cliffs. Okay, I'm literally tripping over my own tongue and also my throat hurts, which is a sign that I've talked way too much this stream, which is the endless battle because I want to be constantly talking because I like to talk when I stream. My constant wittering as I make jokes and ramble about design and themes and so on. You know, from like it was in my old streams before I got super sick. If I do that now, I make myself sick with my bad lungs. Which is what these chill streams are supposed to avoid. I'm supposed to be quiet. I like that mini boss rooms just permanently make mini boss noise. This was right here. <clears throat> and I never thought to look. The King's Idol. I mean, it's not difficult to make your room permanently have mini boss noises if you want to. All you need to do is set up an audio player to play it on a loop forever. White idol depicting the King of Hallownest. The elusive king was worshipped through these idols. Relic from its past, little value just for selling. Oh, interesting. So the thing I got this out of was not a living bug. It was a, a machine created in the form of a bug, which makes sense. Humans make robots in, the, in human form. Bugs would make robots in bug form. Hallownest Soul Sanctum. I wonder where that is. I wonder what that opens. I definitely remember seeing a door that I couldn't open that needed an elegant key, but I can't I can't remember where that was. Might have been down there. Alright, I'm not allowed to go that way. I'm not allowed to return to the barbarian wildernesses beyond, which contain, of course, nothing but howling emptiness. And to which I may have been banished for some reason.
sure I'm glad I have the auto loot collector item equipped. Otherwise I would constantly be losing money. Where's the magic tree? There it is. beings, these words are for you alone. These blasted plains stretch never-ending. There is no world beyond. Those foolish enough to traverse this void must pay the toll and relinquish the precious mind this kingdom grants. I found this text before, and I find it really deeply interesting about what it might mean. If you go outside of this world, you lose your mind. The consciousness of these creatures is contingent on their location. of a large bug. Hmm, weird. Is this the guy who taught me the spin attack? And if so, who killed him? Oh, interesting. This ain't, this is different. Oh, I think this is related to one of the expansion packs. Huh. If I if I realized that sooner, I wouldn't have activated it. Well. Yeah, I hate mix mixing like expansion content into the main game. Ah well. Did I does that mean I just turned on the DLC and I can't turn it off again? Oh beans. I feel like it should give you a warning. It might be easy to ignore the DLC, but if it means I'm going to be running into characters that I wouldn't otherwise be running into, then it's like... I don't know, I feel complicated. I talked a bit about this a little bit in my Let's Play on YouTube of uh, Paradise Killer, which is still ongoing, but I don't really like it when a work of art that exists as an ostensibly finished piece has new stuff added to it without also having an, uh, an opportunity or, or ability to experience the thing as it was originally and then add the new stuff into it. 
the ongoing Let's Play, I should say, because I haven't finished it yet. Taking a break for a couple of weeks because I've been ill. Oh, it's a langway dune. Unintentional, gratuitous Scots. I've lived here for long enough. Autism echolalia stuff has kicked in, I guess. Still, I sound way too English to be peppering such things into my speech and have no wish to offend. ones. They must be here somewhere. I must have missed some. I wish there was an indicator. Hmm. Oh, I'm very sleepy all of a sudden. There we go. I think I came here before I had the magic lantern. Which is why I didn't clear this place out. I hate the snot noises these things make. Sounds like someone trying to trying to clear like a blocked nostril or something whenever uh whenever something wet happens in this game. Although these blue things I think were added in the game's first like DLC-ish update. Ooh. Joni's Blessing. The kindly heretic transfigures vital, blu flu vital fluids into blue lifeblood. The bearer will have a healthier shell and can take more damage, but not be able to heal themselves by focusing soul. So I guess if I kill stuff, I regain blue hit points, but I can't heal myself. Interesting. Oh, a ghost. Hey, what's up? I see you bear my blessing. I can't remember giving it, but my memory has been lacking of late. Wait, shit. Fuck! Ghost, I'm sorry! God damn it. I just wanted to see the ghost's ghost thoughts. I've fallen into exactly the same trap as exasperated- No, wait, uh... Girl-like substance. I'm a fool. Tragic. 
I'm a tragic fool. And she seemed so nice. I wanted to know what the rest of her dialogue was, if she had any. But no. Only violence exists in the heart of this little creature. Oh, this is where I found the guy. I guess he's left. Unless... No, he's still here. Hey, man. Ah, so my brother Sheo has taught you his nail art, the Great Slash. How lucky you are to have trained with him. Sheo and I were very close when we trained together under the Great Nail Sage. He often spoke of becoming tired of nail arts and wanted to try something new. I'm glad to see he changed his mind and continues to bear the proud title of Nail Master along with me. It's not quite what happened. Ah, oh, hints. Okay, so this guy leads to the guy we just met earlier. I should have thought that. I wonder how many NPCs give hints as to finding other, N other NPCs. I am Gorb. Bow, bow, bow to Gorb. My great mind. I am Gorb. Ascend, ascend, ascend with Gorb. I found this guy, I found this monument previously, but that was before I had the dream nail. I suppose there's several things I could come back to now that I have the dream nail. Rested. Oh, I can change up my uh, loadout again. I forgot. I can get rid of the long nail because I don't really need it. Uh, what was the other one I I stopped using? Oh yeah, grub song. So I've got two slots. So I could I could slot something that's worth two. Bonus soul. Extra invulnerable. Cheaper spells. More knockback. I don't want more knockback. I usually want less knockback. Oh, Fury of the Fallen. Damage boost when I'm nearly dead. Bonus hit points. Stinky. Whenever I'm focusing, I do damage over time. Hmm. I think probably the easiest one to use right now is the bonus hit points. Ooh, I should have enough. I just realised I should have enough uh, enough thingamajigs that I can get the. Hey, where's my ghost? Where's my ghost at? I can hear that motherfucker. There you are. Whoops.
I was saying something and I've already forgotten what it was. I should probably stop streaming soon because I'm getting very tired and therefore forgetting what I was doing and indeed saying. I think I'll kill this guy. Well, I mean, beat him since he's already dead. There's a reason I don't play bullet hell games very much. And it's because while I am exceptional at all games, I do find them more difficult than the average. I am Gorb! The great mind, the pain, ascend, ascend! LMAO, get Gorbed, idiot. Hollow Knight, out! Oh, okay, I don't like this. Hey man, do you know what's up with these guys? Something strange and sinister has suddenly appeared. It fills me with dread. I think it's best to try and ignore it. I think also I will ignore this for the time being. Okay, I'm going to do one thing, and then I am going to log off. I'm going to go talk to the Dream Moth, since I have like three times as many uh, resources as I need. See the dreams of this old kingdom are starting to cling to you, very encouraging. You certainly made my dreary work more exciting. Being caretaker for the Being caretaker of this place has not been very stimulating. I shouldn't complain though, tending these graves and guiding the wielder, all penitents for old crimes. Certain things have to be kept in balance. Oh, I'm the wielder? I guess I'm the wielder of the dream now. Take this trinket for your efforts and return with five hundred. Oh, pale ore, fantastic. Ah, 500. You're a master in the making. Well done, well done. I have a small reward. Plucked from one of my most pe precious memories, this charm will bring you the dream nail. You and the dream nail closer together still. The secrets of this kingdom will not hide from you any longer. Take it and return with 700 athens. Ooh, dream wielder. Neat. I wonder what it does. Charge the dream nail faster and collect more soul when striking foes. Wait, I can hit enemies with that? I tried, but it didn't do anything, I thought. Anyway, okay, now that I've done that, that actually will be all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will continue to come on me. Jesus Christ. I hope you will continue to come with me on this journey, is what I meant to say. Um, it's a good thing nobody's watching, otherwise that would get clipped. Anyway, that's going to be all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. 
You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.